So for crocheting, the first thing you need is yarn. I'm choosing a slightly thicker yarn to start with because it's easier for beginners. This is a Hanamaka yarn. Um, and on the back, it will show you what size hook you need for the yarn. So this one, it's a seven or eight um, size hook. So the first thing you wanna do is make a slip knot, which is taking the yarn, making a loop, pulling the yarn up through that loop, and through that top loop, insert your hook and pull on both sides of the yarn to tighten. There's your slip knot. This side of the yarn will tighten the bottom of the slip knot, and this part of the yarn will tighten the loop. So after you have your slip knot, you want to hold your yarn in this hand so you can start making your chain. I usually go over, under, and over my index finger. This allows me to control the tension of the yarn when I'm crocheting. So after you have your slip knot on your hook, um, and you know how to hold your yarn in the other hand, you're going to start chaining. This is where you take the yarn, scoop it into that groove, and pull through this hoop. It's important to hold the tail of your yarn in this hand so you have more maneuverability. So scoop the yarn and pull through. That's chain one. Keep your hand firm on the tail of the yarn. Take the yarn again, pull through the hoop. Take the yarn again, pull through the hoop. That's chain three. So here I've chained 10 stitches. Here's the slip knot, and each little V in this chain is a stitch. The top loop on the needle you do not count. Before we start single crocheting, we'll make a slip stitch to attach these two ends together. So go into the far end of the yarn, bring your yarn over, grab it, pull through that one, and then you're gonna put this loop over that one. This will connect your chain into a circle. Your first round of single crochet is on your chain. So that means you only use one side of these loops and you use the one furthest from you or the top. So it's around the outer ring. So I go into that one, I grab, pull through that loop. I grab the yarn again and pull through. That's a single crochet. So when you finish single crochets through all the chains in the first row, pull up the yarn on that last stitch and place a marker. There are other markers you can use, but I just use a different color yarn. It's important to keep a marker when you're working in the brown so you know where the row ends and where it begins. Once you've completed your row of 10 single crochet off of the chain, you're gonna now single crochet using the full stitch, which are both strands of the yarn in that V. So you go through those two, grab your yarn, pull through, pull up a loop. You have to grab the yarn and pull through again. So now you have another single crochet stitch, but it is through both. And this is the normal single crochet that you'll use for most amigurumi. Starting off the chain is usually the hardest bit. So once you do this, go through both, pull up the yarn, two loops, grab the yarn again, pull through. There's your next single crochet. So for single crochet, increase and decrease, we're using a bigger ring to show you the techniques. An increase in single crochet is simply crocheting twice into the same stitch. So you go into the two like you usually do, pull out the yarn, two loops, pull through again. Then you simply go back into that same stitch and do the same thing. That is an increase. So normally you would have one stitch, now you have two. So for a single crochet decrease, you're basically making two stitches into one stitch. First, go into the first stitch like you normally do and pull up the yarn. 
but instead of completing that single crochet stitch, go into the next stitch, pull the yarn through. So you have three loops on the crochet hook. Grab the yarn again and pull through. That is one single crochet decrease. So there are various ways to make magic rings or magic circles. I'll show you the one that I usually use. Use the tail end of your yarn, go across your fingers, make a cross. Then with your crochet hook, go under that one, grab this one, go around, place that over. So then you have a slip knot on a ring. If you pull the tail end of your yarn, the ring will get smaller. Then you want to crochet into that ring and keeping the tail as part of that border of your ring. So go into the ring, pull up the yarn, single crochet. Go into the ring, pull up the yarn, single crochet. And keep doing this until you have enough single crochets for your magic ring. Once you have enough single crochets, make a slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made, which is two. Okay. And then pull through. Okay. So when you have completed your magic ring with the number of single crochet stitches that you need, place your marker so you know where you're beginning, and then pull the tail to close the ring, the center of the ring. And then you'll keep single crocheting along these edges, just like this. So thanks for watching our video about basic amigurumi techniques. And you can make these with our books.